guys welcome back to my channel um I don't know if you noticed anything different but I did cut curly bangs which I just finished filming that video right before this one I will be putting that video out after I release this one um but yeah welcome to my hair series guys this first video is going to be 10 tips on how to grow long natural healthy hair it doesn't necessarily have to be natural hair um, these tips will work for anyone with coarse straight blonde pink hair um, anyone really I will also be sharing with you products that I use certain styles that I do um, different methods that I do to grow up my hair but for this video I will be sharing 10 tips and let's just jump right in First and foremost, guys, you need to trim all the damaged hair that you have. Everything. Because it's just going to take longer to grow. You're not going to see your full potential. Um, when I started growing out my hair, I didn't want it to be short at all because I had a perm. It was down my back and I just missed my curls so much and I tried to wash it and it was just looking straight at the ends and puffy at the root it looked ridiculous so I just decided to cut it and I actually cut about this much of my hair maybe more because my hair straight was like up to here and um, yeah and that was in 2009 that I decided to cut it so I was natural I had this much natural and then I just decided to cut all of that off 2009 so I found that it really helped my hair grow long and fast and my hair was thick all around it looked better so yeah guys I know some people do not like to do the big chop but it's a sacrifice you know and it's a journey and it's one of the fastest way on achieving beautiful long healthy hair the reason why it's good to cut all of your damaged ends is because your hair is eventually going to keep breaking and um, once, like say if this piece was damaged down here and it's just going to keep traveling up and then your whole head is going to be damaged. So you rather just snip that off and keep on taking care of your hair from there. Got it? Okay. The second tip is deep conditioning your hair and also using hair masks, whatever work for you. Um, the way I deep condition my hair is anytime that I wash my hair, I use a deep conditioner. And I will be showing you in a next video what deep conditioners I use and what other products I use as well. But deep conditioning is very important because it provides moisture to your hair. Um, if you have moisturized hair, the less likely it is for your hair to break off. So that's why I really, really stress deep conditioning. Like, if I don't have enough time to tell someone, like, how I get my hair to be, like, healthy and all of that stuff, I just tell them, you know what, just start deep conditioning at least once a week or whenever you wash your hair. What I like to do is I wet my hair at nighttime and um, not too much just so that the deep conditioner can soak in my hair. And I do like two braids or four braids, whatever, and then I wrap my hair and I go to sleep in it. And in the morning, that's when I wash my hair. Or I even leave it in for a whole day, like if you have a cute braid out style that you don't mind wearing outside, just rock your deep conditioner up in your hair and go about. No one's going to notice that you have deep conditioner in your hair because it's just soaking in. Um, but yeah, that's a very important tip you want to keep your hair moisturized as much as possible. So tip number three is very important as well. All of these tips are important. This is like the most hardest tip I I think, even for myself. Like, just don't put heat to your hair. Like, just don't. Even like if you're using a diffuser, you know, put it on the cool setting. If you want to see fast results, then I suggest going on a curly girl diet and that is no heat don't put heat to your hair rock your hair curly no heat no heat it's hard I know and it's okay to put heat on your hair because natural girls we could be versatile you know but if you want to see fast results then no heat is the answer 
tip number four is to keep your ends moisturized and this is very simple um, I just place coconut oil on my ends so how I keep my ends moisturized is on a daily basis most likely in the morning time I place oil to my ends and um, just a little bit and I scrunch it in there and that's it it's like a daily basis thing if you want to see hair growth you have to keep your ends moisturized at all times even if it's in a bun so the best way to keep your ends moisturized is protective styling my favorite protective hairstyle is a high bun and that's when I take the most oil as possible um, and at the end when I'm about to tuck in the ends I place a lot of oil on it and I just pin it up and it just stays there soaking up all the oil and my ends are moisturized in a high bun um, so yeah protective hairstyles they can also be braids twists yeah braids twists and buns I don't really know of any other hairstyles if you do comment below what are some of the protective hairstyles that you use comment below protective hairstyling just basically gives your hair break and I remember two years ago is when I seen the most growth ever um, and that was because I wore my hair in a bun like almost every day I didn't feel like doing wash and goes I didn't feel like straightening my hair I didn't feel like doing braids it was just like I washed my hair, I left it out for one day, and then the next day it was in a bun. After that, the whole week, my hair was in a bun. And in the summertime, I realized my hair grew so much. So yeah, protective hairstyling could definitely help hair growth. Um, just leave your hair alone and make sure those ends are moisturized. Tip number six is simply to use a leave-in conditioner after washing your hair. Yeah, you just put on conditioner, you just deep conditioned your hair, but you need something else that's going to sit on your hair and your hair is going to soak it up um, and you leave it in, you know. So this is a great way to moisturize your hair and also after using a leave-in conditioner I also recommend to use an oil or even a butter just to lock that in. Um, there's different steps that you can take to make sure that your hair has locked in moisture. Again I will be showing you in another video what products I use. Tip number seven is to wash your hair with a cleansing conditioner. So many people have asked me what type of shampoo and conditioner I use and I don't really use shampoo that often. I do use it maybe once a month but cleansing conditioners are the key to not stripping your hair when you wash it. Um, if you do use a shampoo I recommend putting oil on your hair before you wash it just so that your scalp isn't dry and you still have moisture when you use an actual shampoo. Tip number eight is to massage your scalp. So massaging your scalp will promote hair growth. So it basically stimulates blood flow to your scalp that promotes hair growth. Um, it also reduces stress and reduces dandruff. So massaging your scalp with any oil um, you can use peppermint oil if you want that tingly feeling and you know you feel it working into your scalp. I do recommend that but um, coconut oil is fine, jojoba oil is fine. Any oil that you have in your house, most likely natural, try to keep it natural because of course it gives you more benefits. But yeah, um, scalp massages will promote hair growth and um, you could do it in the shower, you could do it afterwards you know just take a couple of minutes throughout the day and just massage your scalp and it feels really good it's very relaxing <laughs> tip number nine is to protect your hair while sleeping so what I do for nighttime is place my hair into a pineapple and I have this satin bonnet that fits all of my hair into it and it's so simple. I tie it in the front and it doesn't fall off at night and my hair keeps its moisture. After putting all that moisture into your hair, making sure that your ends are sealed and moisturized, you do not want all of that work to go to waste after you wake up in the morning from a wonderful sleep you know and then you see that your ends are dry your hair looks frizzy and like you need to wet it again and wash it again 
just simply sleep with something satin um, even get a satin pillowcase and you'll be fine you'll wake up with soft shiny hair that is still moisturized last but not least guys is so obvious drink water um that's so it's just like you need water to survive so if you're not drinking enough water your hair is not going to look lively at all um, I'm sure you guys have seen what water can actually do for you and how it clears up people's skin, you know, it keeps you glowing and basically it also keeps your hair glowing as well. So drink lots of water, um, don't forget to be patient, you know, it takes time, like it took me honestly five years for me to really understand my hair and also get the length that I wanted while it was curly um, my hair is pretty long and yeah I go by these tips on a daily basis um, if anyone asks me how to grow out hair this is what I will tell them and it works guys it just takes time I would love to know how these tips work out for you and this is a journey. So I'm I'm still trying to grow up my hair as well. I want it to be longer um, while it's curly, like maybe down to my back. That would be great. Um, so yeah, let's go on this challenge together. Let's take care of our hair. And stay tuned for more of my hair series videos. Subscribe to my channel, thumbs up, and also let me know how you like my curly bangs. It's so different to me, but I've wanted them for so long. There are going to be plenty more videos of me helping you achieve long, healthy hair. So make sure you subscribe to my channel. And I'm also super close on reaching 10,000 subscribers. And for that, I will be doing a huge giveaway. And yeah, just make sure you stay tuned. And I will see you in my next video. Peace out.